this video, I will be demonstrating on how you can adjust a background art to different times and moods. Before we proceed further, there are a few areas that require our attention when we prepare the background art. First, paint the background art in a bright daylight color. So we can reuse the background art and adjust it into various settings like evening, night, and rainy day. Also remember not to include any harsh shadows in the artwork as we will repaint the shadows based on the mood of the scene. Next, we will separate the artwork into layers. There's no right or wrong way to organize the layers. My preference is to organize the layers based on the objects in the scene rather than separating them based on how I color the artwork. If you wish to keep the coloring layers, you can group them into a folder. In this example, I separated this artwork into a background sky layer. In some cases, I may separate clouds into another layer for animation. Then, a distant building layer, mid-ground building layer, and the foreground layer, which can be darkened and blurred to enhance depth in the scene. With our background art prepared, let's move on to adjust them into different moods. The most straightforward way to make adjustments is by using a photo filter to thin the layers. In Photoshop, you can apply a photo filter through Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Photo Filter. As demonstrated here, I'm tinting the layer with a warm color. You can also experiment with both Preserve Luminosity and Density option to find the settings that best suit your preference. To ensure the adjustment only affects the specific artwork layer, right click the photo filter layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Next, you can use a level of curve modifier to fine tune the contrast and brightness of the layer. Let's quickly adjust the remaining layers. From my personal experience, adjusting the sky layer with a photo filter usually doesn't give good result. So I usually repaint the sky to better match the desired mood. If you are interested in a more detailed commentary tutorial on sky painting, feel free to leave a comment. To achieve this in After Effects, select the layer you want to adjust, then go to Effect, Color Correction, Auto Filter. Doing the adjustment in After Effects offers greater control and flexibility. This will allow us to create time lapse animation by keyframing the parameters. Besides using photo filter adjustment, we can also use a layer with multiply blend mode. In this example, a color layer is multiplied on the artwork, simulate sunlight casting through the window. If we use a layer to multiply in After Effects, we can animate it to portray sunlight movement over time. After adjusting our background to different colors and moods, we can further enhance it by adding atmospheric glow. In Photoshop, add a new layer with screen blend mode. Then paint the glow with a soft edge brush. To add glow in After Effects, Add a new solid to the scene. Then tint it to a color that matches the mood. Remember to change the layer blend mode to screen. And use the masking tool to define the glow area. 
Remember to adjust the feather option of the mask for a smoother glow. For a more detailed tutorial, you can watch this video that I uploaded on my channel. For a warm evening setup, apply a warm orange color to thin the layers. Then, ensure to adjust the contrast of all the layers accordingly. In this case, I have darkened all the layers so the sky will appear brighter. Lastly, replace the sky image and add some glow to the scene. For a night setup, apply a cyan color photo filter and darken all the layers. As usual, replace the sky image and add some fog to the scene. If there is a specific area we want to eliminate, leaving it without adjustment is an option. However, I often choose to thin it with a brighter color for a more impactful effect. For a rainy day setup, apply a desaturated blue photo filter to thin the layers. Then adjust the contrast to better match the mood. In this case, I am reducing the contrast to create a fog effect. Lastly, replace the sky image and add some fog to the scene. You can use CC Rain 4 filter in After Effects for animated raindrops. If you found this video informative and learned something new, please consider liking and subscribing to support the growth of my channel. Until next time, take care.